Hey everybody, I could be shirtless, but I'm not as sexy as I could be yet, because I have these beautiful little, ooh, I can actually feel that, that's good. I'm not, I'm not sexy yet, but I'll, I'll be a little bit shirtless for this video, just for, for funsies. I'm still sore, so I'm not going to jump around the screen like usual, but I can just sit here and talk about Disney, I'm pretty good at talking sometimes, so here we go. So I actually did go to Disney World when I was like, hmm, it was in 2001, I think, so I was probably eight years old. I can show you pictures of that. So that was me when I was eight years old. I don't know, my favorite Disney movie was Dumbo. I saw that movie a lot. I had a Bugs Life sleeping bag. That was Disney, right? Uh, yeah, that was Disney. I liked that a lot. Fun fact about me, when I was in elementary school, I convinced everyone that I could talk to bugs. So they would like bring bugs to me and ask me what they were saying and I would just like bullshit random stuff that a bug might say. So I was like the bug whisperer. It also got me in situations where I'd have to like hold spiders. So I guess I did not really have the chance to develop a spider phobia. If any of you have heard of Studio Ghibli, it's like the combination of like Disney and anime. The movies like Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke and all that stuff. Well, my favorite movie of all time is Princess Mononoke, and it was the first PG-13 movie I ever watched. I don't remember how old I was, but I was pretty young. That movie just amazed me, and then I like Ponyo a lot, too. I just like those movies so much, they're so colorful. It's like an acid trip, but for, like, children. Well, in Princess Mononoke, there was the princess character. She wasn't girly at all. She was, like, a wolf child, and she, like, sucked blood out of wolves, and it was interesting. But she ran without moving her arms. She just, like, had him, like, by her side, and she just, like, run super fast. So I thought in order to run super fast, I would have to run without moving my arms. So when I was really little, when I saw this movie, I started practicing running without moving my arms. And that's just how I ran forever. And when I was playing rugby and stuff, they called me Scuttle. Because when I ran, I would just have my arms like stiff like this and like running and I take little tiny steps so it looks like I was scuttling everywhere. And in gym class, the teachers would yell at me. They'd be like, move your arms when you run. And I was just like, no. And it like is ingrained into me. Now I just like run with like my arms just like chilling, not moving. Influenced my life in a spectacular way. Also, there's these like really adorable things in that movie called Tree Spirits, and I always thought they were so, so, so cool. And they they represent like lucky and they mean the forest is healthy, so that's pretty good because I was I was thinking about maybe getting them tattooed onto my body because it's my favorite movie and they're so adorable and they're cute. So that's a possibility. Also, since I mentioned Ponyo, my one friend got me this like giant ass like twelve foot poster from Ponyo because she works at a movie theater and she watches these videos so I still have I still don't know where the hell to put that but I like it a lot and I would show it to you but I can't lift anything more than five pounds and it's definitely more than five pounds so so I've said what I needed to say about Disney now just I have this little clip that I would like to show everyone so as some of you may know I had a tiny chat set up for right after my surgery so I could talk to people while I was laying in bed and on painkillers and all that good stuff and Finn, yes, FTM Transtastic's own Finn, came onto the chat and he was there for a while and I got him to read us uh, some erotica. And for some reason I was compelled to film him doing this. And when I looked at my camera I was uploading like, the pictures from Florida and all that stuff. And I uploaded this video, I was like, I don't, I like vaguely remember taking it. And I watched it and it's just him reading us some sexy stories. So I figured I would share since it's on my computer for everyone to see anyway. I don't know if I can read this. You can. <clears throat> do, you, do you want any sort of like voice going on with this? Your sexiest voice. I don't have oh. a sexy voice. Aiden tipped his head and leaned in, slanting his mouth over hers. His kiss was soft. Teasing, a fleeting caress followed by a tickling brush. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a hard possession. It took her breath away and made her head spin. <laughs> she thrust her arms out and grabbed Sergio and Troy's knees. Her blood was warming with each touch of Hayden's mouth to hers. And erotic images of herself lying on the bed nude. Aiden, Troy and Sergio surrounding her played through her head. <laughs> This was going to happen. Oh my god. Oh my a god. A flood of energy charged from her center. <laughs> and to the tips of her fingers and the soles of her feet. <laughs> I can't read this shit. You need, to, you need to read it. It's starting to get dirty, guys. A pleasant, tingly warmth gathering between her legs. Oh, he just asked her if she's looking for an F word. 
<laughs> she probably is. Okay. <laughs> hey, English teacher. See you next Thursday.